Hi, this is Candia with Embroidery Boss. Thanks so much for joining in on the next segment of part two. We are going to be comparing website hosting companies. And the first that we have today is uh, GoDaddy.com. Uh, for starters, I would like to go over the others. We have GoDaddy.com, we have MerchantMoms.com, as well as ShopPro.com. And for starters, GoDaddy.com starts at $3.99 a month while Merchant Moms start at eight ninety five a month and Shop Pro seems to be in between the both of them at six dollars a month and as you can see it goes up 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 as you increase the items that you are getting in your packages the first thing that I want to tell you is that all three web hosting companies have one thing in common well more than one thing in common but the thing that stood out the most to me was the unlimited amount of bandwidth that you get in all three companies so if we go down and we look at the bandwidth here you can see that uh, it's unlimited in all packages regarding the amount of uh, cost of the package and then the same deal here with the bandwidth this is referred to as unmetered at merchantmoms.com and then shop pro offers the same unlimited bandwidth offer now let's talk about exactly what bandwidth is the amount of bandwidth that you are allotted by your web hosting company will determine the number of visitors you are allowed in a given period. So that means that if you do not have unlimited amount of bandwidth, that means that the web hosting company puts a cap or a maximum number of the amount of visitors you are allowed to have to your website. The bandwidth or data transfer rate is measured uh, based on um, overall the internet connection at any given time. Most web hosting companies measure the bandwidth on a monthly basis. Um, you want to really stay away from the web hosting companies that give you um, a number. So if they say that you are allowed to have 1,000 visitors or 10,000 visitors to your website a month, you want to really stay away from that. I'd rather see unmetered versus a cap number because even though let's say 10,000 people visiting your website may seem like a lot, but if uh, we're talking about the World Wide Web, 10,000 people visiting your website on a monthly basis could be very small. Your bandwidth consumption can be reduced by building um, web, um, building up small web, small web pages. So the, what that means is that if you have a website that has a lot of uh, pages with different things or different services or different categories, then that will take up some of your bandwidth. And you can reduce that if you have a cap number of bandwidth that you have on your website simply by having fewer pages. Also, with the bandwidth um, in regards to what takes it up, it's also a uh, socket secure layers or secure socket layers, the SSL. And you see this when you are trying to check out. You want to see that SSL. In fact, a lot of customers will not even shop on the internet if the company is not secured or do not have that secured socket layer, which in all we cannot blame them, especially with all the uh, the issues with credit cards and, and, and so forth. Um, you know, people want to shop where they know that they are protected. However, protecting your customer also comes at a cost because the websites generally that have the SSLs that are attached to them they do take up more bandwidth and uh, generally this is more costly to you also websites that have large audio or video files they also will increase your bandwidth substantially and this does not come without a cost to you so you want to be very careful when you don't see a company that offers the unlimited bandwidth web hosting companies control the bandwidth okay so they control it by limiting the number simultaneous sim, semi simultaneously <laughs> excuse me connections to your website um, so so this means that you know they can control the timeout settings if there's too many people that's coming to your website 
they can refuse them. They can turn people away from visiting your website. And you might think like, wow, who would do that or why would they do that? I can tell you a, a personal experience. I was buying uh, concert tickets uh, to uh, the Beyonce concert. Now, we know that Beyonce is an international superstar. Well, when I went on to Wells Fargo, website uh, which was the um, the portal that was selling the website now Wells Fargo is a bank this is a big company but because of who she is and the amount of attention that she attracts you couldn't get into the website and that had never happened to me before where I logged on to a website and a warning came up that it was just too much traffic the bandwidth had superseded what they were allowed and for that particular time and they were turning people away so you don't want this to happen to you so you want to make sure that you do not sign up with the company that will put a number of people that can come to your website or they have metered bandwidth or a limited amount of bandwidth also, you want to avoid uh, slowdowns of web host server control. So if they say that they can control it, you might want to stay away from that too because the, the web hosting packages that stipulate large amount of bandwidth can really overall affect you if you don't have that unlimited mark on, um, that unlimited plan that allow you to have um, unlimited amount of people coming to your website or an unlimited amount of pages and pictures and so forth. So you want to be mindful of what you are doing on the website um, like flash websites or multimedia websites um, that run streaming videos. This kind of thing uses tons of bandwidth. Uh, so you want to be uh, very, very mindful of that as well because you don't want to have too many things that either either slowing your website down or turning people away or it's going to be very costly to you. All of those things will change things um, in, in regards to your monthly budget, in regards to what you are able to do. So you want to be aware of um, you know what you are doing, and you want to be aware of the web hosting companies that charge you by the number of people that can come to your website. You want to be aware of the companies that control you know your bandwidth. Um, you also want to be very mindful of what you are doing, so you want to stay away from those flash videos, stay away from them streaming videos. Um, all those things pretty much can make it more costly on your wallets. So once again, if we can just compare what we were talking about here before we move on to the next thing in these web hosting packages, we were saying that GoDaddy.com starts at $3.99 a month with unlimited bandwidth. MerchantMoms.com starts at $8.95 a month with unlimited bandwidth. And so does Shop Pro that starts at $6 a month with unlimited bandwidth. So we will stop right there now that you have an explanation of what bandwidth is, what, what you can do with it, what you need to be aware of, of when you are looking at bandwidth. We can stop here and we can move on to the next segment.